Hello everyone, it's been a while since one of these but I'm just going to give a general um, Battletech update video. Uh, first and foremost I uh, dusted and rearranged my hobby space again. So that's the play area, that's the general hobby area for me and Bruggis. And I really tidied up that far end which was just used for like paint storage and stuff. I put the paints away into things and there's like a few... Uh, bit of a collection and toys there so um this video is going to be cut up into a couple parts a bit of different methods this one I'm just showing the play area and um, these are my lances at the moment I still have some to paint some are um, wolf's dragoons and some are the toxic mercenaries my own homebrew so that's my battletech play area and um, I was just going to discuss a few things I'm planning to get, a few things that are on the way, and general uh, plans within plans. So, um, the first thing that I have coming, um, that's literally paid for and on the way right now, is um, Ralparta miniatures, metal miniatures, which I found out Ralparta would later become Iron Wind. And, um, oh, sorry about that. Ralparta would later become Iron Wind. Which they're the same basically brand that cast some moldings and stuff. Um, just that it, it got rebranded eventually. So I have a, it's like a 28 pack of Curita infantry, which the ones available right now are Curita and Davion. So I went with Curita and um, there's 28 pieces of little like rectangle, metal rectangles with three soldiers a piece and you can either remove them and put them on the hex base or as so I've seen in some pictures you just take the rectangles themselves and place about three or four um, per hex base. So you do that a good few, you, I can't do the man right now, I'm a bit stupid to do the man, but um, if you do that you have the infantry and uh, you get a good few of them, you, you'd get a, what is it, a... Uh, you get um, you get at least six, depending on if it's three or four per hex base, six to eight. So for one packet, that barely costs a tenner. That's that's good. Ten infantry for that, and I can prime and paint them up, all that stuff. So yeah, that's the thing. I've cured the infantry coming, and um, it gave me the idea that actually I uh, I was like I was going to get those. I had I was planning to get something else, and I was like I have a few spare max primed and ready to paint, and I was like. Hold on, I'm actually making like a cure to house cure to slash Draconis Combine Army basically. Then I realized um, that one of the APCs I was looking at that I really liked the design of and I even looked into the stats and stuff was the, what was it called again, the Shodan, the Shodan um, Heavy Assault Vehicle. Which is, a, it's specifically made for House Curator, the Draconis Combine. So I was like, if I have Curator Infantry, and if I get this show then, which I should put a picture up on screen, I won't go into its stats and history and all that cool stuff, but if you want to look into that, you can. But um, if I have the Curator Infantry and the Shodan uh, Heavy Assault Vehicles, I'm like, just with those guys, the infantry, the vehicles, and maybe tanks or uh, VTOL or a few, even a few mechs painted up for them. That's a sizable cure to force, like just ready for me. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'll make a Draconis Combine force. Uh, I'll do the mechs red. I, uh, I have to look into the vehicles and infantry. I've seen infantry art where they kind of like kind of beige clothes, beige outfits, and camouflage. So, I might do that with the grey helmets. I, I kind of wanted everything to be red and cool, but like I want to be uh, as close to the lore as, as I possibly can and can manage. So I'll do that. I'm going to make a cure to force. A cure to force, and um, that'll be my. Because I, I like, I have a few teamed like uh, partial lances. Like I have the Wolf's Dragoons and the Toxic Mercenaries. But I really wanted, with the Total Warfare, I wanted to kind of get into it properly. Um, like full forces, full fledged armies, and mercenary groups and stuff. So that's it on the Curative Draconis Combine front. Then I was thinking, since I have Total Warfare, I'm getting more mechs, um, infantry and armor and stuff, that I want a game of armor combat, I will get a hold of it. But it's like, since that's like just a like more high-end beginner's box, it's like, it's not necessarily 100% needed right now unless I really want those mechs and paper tech. So I was thinking I might just skip that for now and get that one like it's easier for me and 
uh, I have more of a craving for it. But right now, I, I kind of like, after the cure of the force, I want to get a hold of Clan Invasion um, box set and the Wolf's Dragoons um, Lance and maybe in Clan Star or something like that. And just kind of get into Clan Invasion um, in my own way and on my own time. Because like, I have told Warfare, I have a load of source books on the clans. So it's like, I, like, I don't need to play it as a straight, um, expansion for a game of armor combat unless i feel the need that like introducing people to it or some such then i would do that but like as it stands i've the standard box or not the standard the beginner box and um total warfare book and just the bits and pieces and maps and all that um so yeah i have everything i need to like basically get into any era or gameplay i want of classic battle tech so i'm going to do that i'm going to work on my cure to force and i'm going to get into clan invasion era so yeah th that's the main updates for battletech and what i'm doing at the moment i will show off the cure to infantry when i get those and if i do order the show then soon i'll show them off as well because i don't see much videos about the royal part of battletech uh miniatures metal miniatures so it'll be good to put some of those up I also, speaking of the maps I mentioned a little bit ago, I have loaded the A4 uh, hex maps, which I have to cut out and place. So I will do that. And um, that's basically about it, guys. Thank you.